Hello, it's Mike's Woodshack here today. Just making a video today of the sweet corn and the crop progress. So the first sweet corn here is nicely in tassel. As you can see, it's blooming nicely. Then here we have the cob forming right there. If you can see that, the cob is forming right there. You can see some other ones. So they're coming along nice. It's July 21st today. And the sweet corn's coming along pretty good. So that's the first one. We're hoping it would be ready for August 1st, but it looks like it may be delayed just a little bit. Here's the next one that was planted next. So it's coming along. It's good. And it's going to be a little later. Then the third one here, we're going to show you. That's the second planting. And this is the third planting. The weeds have gotten away on me a little bit. Couldn't hold fast enough to get a control of them. Here's the potato crop. It's doing excellent. We're suffering a bit of drought right now here where we are. We haven't had rain in three weeks and we're getting some very, very extreme heat. These are some of my zinnias here. These are tomatoes. Tomatoes are coming nicely now. They should be ready around August 1st too. This is a variety called Sunstart. does very, very well right here. Tends to be one of the earlier ones. I really like growing it. It's doing really well. So I'm really hopeful we will have some close to August 1st. Then here's the pumpkins. The pumpkins are now coming extremely well. They're, they're managing the drought that we've had for the last two, three weeks pretty good. They, the runners have shot about 60 inches so far, so they're doing really well. But without rain here, we're, we're suffering a bit. The pumpkins are doing good, though, overall. They're just starting to flower right now. They've shot about 60 inches. Here's some uh, of the other ones I got. Uh, these are Worthington um, butternut squash is what they are. And they're doing really well, too. So they're all there. And as you can see, they're a bit smaller than the pumpkins are here. And then there's more pumpkins. And then we got some acorn squash coming right here. Doing well too. Again, smaller than the pumpkins, but doing really well. So we got almost got ahead of the weeds here. We had to do a lot of hoeing. But some of the weeds are getting ahead of us here, so we're not quite getting them all out. But we're doing all right. Here's some uh, cucumbers. They seem to be really slow in coming. These were all planted at the same time as the pumpkin. So there's a cucumber and there's a pumpkin, right? But they're coming real slow. We're having a bit of a cucumber beetle pressure. I might show you some if I see some right here. This is one where they've eaten it completely. And you can see the leaf. They pretty well decimated that plant there. But overall, the next plant besides healthy and the one on the other side here is pretty healthy too. So cucumber beetles haven't gotten us yet. They are there pretty quite a few. They've gotten a few of the plants but overall it looks pretty good. The corn's really coming well. It's about eight feet tall now and uh, that's the field corn. It's doing pretty good but we are just starting to suffer from the drought right now. Some people are asking me what uh, what the variety is. The two varieties of pumpkins that I grow mostly here are Howden, which is a open pollinated, anybody can get it, fairly inexpensive seed, and the other one's called Big Max. They're both really good seeds, both do excellent, grow good pumpkins. So those are the ones we grow. The acorn squash, I don't know the variety of it right now, but I'll have to look it up again. And the Worthington butternut squash is what's also grown there. So that's a crop update here. In July, we're getting a bit of drought. We're hopeful for rain here, and we'll see what happens. Over and out, Mike's Woodchuck Crop Update.